Welcome to this short training video on how to create general ledger accounts in NetSuite. Today I'll show you how to view the company's chart of accounts, how to export the chart of accounts to Excel or CSV. We'll search for existing general ledger accounts. We'll choose account numbers for our new GL account. I'll show you how to create a new GL account and how to edit existing accounts in NetSuite. Today I'm using my administrator role in NetSuite to create a general ledger account. However, there are other roles that give you the same access rights and roles that can be customized to give you access to the function to create general ledger accounts for your firm. Please check internally with your team to ensure that you have the proper rights before you start creating the general ledger account. To view the chart of accounts, you go to Setup, Accounting, and you scroll down until you find Chart of Accounts. You click on it, and this will bring you to the Chart of Accounts for your company. If you want to view inactive accounts, you check this box here to the left of Show Inactive. If you don't want to view them, you uncheck. Viewing an active account is going to be important when you want to create a new account that may already exist, but is inactive. So you want to show all inactive accounts and search for accounts that may have been open in the past, not used for a while, and change to inactive. And that way you can potentially reactivate those instead of creating a new account. To export your chart of accounts, you can click on the CSV icon over here if you want to export to CSV. If you want to export to Excel, you click on the Excel icon. And when you click, it is a simple download. You get a download into Excel, which you can open and view and filter and work with the data in Excel format. If you want to create a new GL account, and you know what type of account you want to create, which might be an income account, and a bank account, an expense account. Once you know the type of account that you want to use, you want to search for the account number range that the new account will fall under. So let's say I want to create a new income account for my entity. I know that my sales general ledger account start in the 4,000, so I can look that up in my Excel download, or I can do it right on this screen. So if you do control find and you type, four, I'm going to type 4010, because that's the parent account for my sales account, this brings me to account 4010, which is sales. And account 4010 has a few children starting in the 4002. And I want to create an account for gift cards. I see that account 4003 and account 4005 have not been used because I'm showing inactive. If any of those accounts had been used within this range, I would see them here. So I'm going to use account 4005 as my new account for gift cards. And I want to create this account as a child of sales. So I'm going to click on New, and this, this brings me up to my account form. I'm going to use account 4005 in the number field. I'll tap over, and I want to call my account sales-gift card to be consistent with the existing income account. This is going to be a sub-account of my 4010, which is my sales account. And I start typing 4010 and my sales account comes up. My account now automatically changes to income because of this parent account that I used. If you are using a parent account, you have to select the type of account that you're opening. Because this is an income account, my general rate type and my cash flow rate type are already defaulting to the standard rates to be used. 
I'm not going to revalue this account because it's not a balance sheet account that requires revaluation. You can enter a description for this account if you wanted to say this account is to be used only for gift cards sold to X region or for X product. You can select enter that in this field. This is the day that I'm opening my account. It's not active. It's not a summary, summarizing account. I'm not going to restrict it to any department, but if you wanted to, you could do that here. You can restrict to class, but I'm not going to do that either. And then on the right over here, you can also restrict to location if this is the form that you're using. And then under subsidiaries, you can select single subsidiaries, or if you select the parent and click on include children, the account is going to be used for the parent entity and all the subsidiaries of that entity. So I am going to do that. I'm going to select the entity that I'm opening for, which is HQ, and then I'm going to allow other entities under that parent to use this account. This is not a miscellaneous attendant in a miscellaneous category, and I am ready to save my new sales gift card account. So you come over here and you click on save. And now my account should be in my chart of accounts. So let's do a search for my existing account, 4005. And here is my account. It's a sub account of 4010. It's 4005. This is the name of my account and it's in an income account and there is no activity in the account yet. Let's say you're editing or you want to edit an existing account. You go here to the left of the account and you click on edit and that will open the account form again. And here you can make changes if you wanted to edit the name. You can do that here for XYZ product for example. You can make any other changes restricted to just the parent and not include the children. And once you make your changes, I'm going to delete this again. Once you make the changes that you want to make, then you can save again and your account will go back to your chart of accounts. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about any of the features described in the video or need training or support with NetSuite managers or transactions, please contact Business Solution Partners at the email or phone number on the screen. Business Solution Partners is a NetSuite partner and a management and consulting firm specializing in cloud-based system implementations. Their staff members and management team include CPAs, and certified solution developers with over 25 years of experience in accounting and system implementation. Visit us at bsbny.com or follow us on Twitter and other social media.